On a cold winter day in Denver, the morning temperature was 7 degrees Fahrenheit. By noon, it had fallen 9 degrees. And by 5 PM that afternoon, it fell another 6 degrees. What was the temperature at 5 PM? So let's draw a number line here just to visualize what's going on. So let's. This is 0, or since we're talking about temperature, we could say it's 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in the morning, the temperature was 7 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right over here, 7 degrees, 7 degrees Fahrenheit. By noon, it had fallen 9 degrees. So we're going to subtract 9 degrees from the 7 degrees. So it's going to be 7 minus 9. Let me do it this way. It had fallen 9 degrees. So we're going to subtract 9 degrees. And then by 5 PM, it had fall, fell another 6 degrees. It fell another 6 degrees. So the expression for our temperature at 5 PM is the 7 degrees minus 9 minus another 6. On the number line, when you subtract something, you're really just moving to the left. So you start at 7. We're going to move 9 to the left. So one way to think about it is if you move 7 to the left, you're going to get back to 7. And then you're going to have to do 2 more to get to 9. So this, we're going to get to negative 2 degrees. So this will get us to negative 2 degrees. And you can verify that. We're moving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the left. We have moved 9 to the left. Let me, so that the length of that arrow is 9. Obviously, the length of this arrow right over here is 7. Another way to think about that this, be, this is negative 2 degrees is you could say the length of the temperature, the absolute value of the temperature, it's going to be in the negative direction at noon, is going to be the difference of this orange arrow and this yellow arrow, the difference in their lengths. And so you could say that this would be the negative, because you know that you're subtracting a larger number from a smaller number. It's the negative of the larger of 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7. And this will also, this will also give you negative 2, either way. So so far, this part right here evaluated to negative 2. And then we're going to subtract another 6. So it's going to be negative 2 minus 6. So we're going to move another 6 to the left. So we're going to move another 6 to the left. And so we're going to go negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spots to the left. Now, we don't want to always have to draw number lines and things like that. And just to think about it in a way that you wouldn't have to count like I just did, if I had negative 2, if I had negative 2 minus 6, you could say, look, I'm already starting 2 to the left of 0, and I'm going to go 6 more to the left of 0. So I'm definitely going to be left of 0, and I'm going to be 8 to the left of 0. Start 2 to the left of 0, and I'm going to go 6 more to the left. Or you could view this as the negative of the absolute value of 2, which is 2, plus the absolute value of 6. And that's because on, in both, we were already at the left, and we were moved even more in the negative direction. Can we do this? And this helps solve, this makes the computation maybe a little bit easier, or maybe it doesn't, whatever, I guess, floats your boat. Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful. So 7 minus 9 minus 6 is negative 8, is equal to, is equal to negative, negative 8.